All right, let's do this day summary quick. Uh, why am I wearing headphones? Ugh. Well, because I've been listening to... Like, yeah, no, because I went to the kitchen to eat, and I thought, oh, I'll bring my YouTube. Anyways, quick summary of my day so I can go to bed by 10. Uh, gosh, I don't know. I woke up. I feel like I had to use mouthwash again this morning because I ate too much last night. I think I pigged out on Honey Nut Cheerios, like the no-name version, um, just before bed. While in the kitchen, I was watching Philip DeFranco do his uh, daily summary of the news. And that reminds me what I want to start doing, because I watch the videos anyways, so I might as well make content out of it. Why don't I watch the video and then do, like, Josh's hot take on Philip DeFranco's news? Just say, here's what I think about each of the things that he commented on. So that's what I want to start doing if I ever start actually making my videos. Um, another thing, I just was watching uh, an interview with Lenny Kravitz in Bahamas? Or did he say Barbados? Maybe he's in Barbados. Um, and he was showing his diet, and they said, and what would you eat at 2 in the morning? He's like, I wouldn't eat at 2 in the morning. I would just drink water to fill my stomach. So that's what I should be doing, because he looks very, very good. And, and he talks about, yeah, like he needs his body to... To, to allow him to be free, to express himself and everything. And that's what I need. And I just remember uh, last night I said I weighed myself and I was 173 pounds. Today I'm 177 pounds. So I'm almost, wow, that's actually really bad. That's pretty much, I think I peaked at, well, who knows, maybe I got to like 190 or something a couple of years ago or last year. But 183 is what sticks in my head as being like, ooh, that was high. And now I'm pretty much back there. And I was doing okay a few months ago. So, yeah, after we had dinner tonight and some ice cream, I got, like, I okay, I'll tell you my whole day. Um, I don't remember what I did. I got on my running clothes, and then it was, like, noon. I'm like, do I go? I'm like, well, maybe I should just be productive first, and then I can go. And so I wound up, uh, for three hours, I did the Facebook post for a cafe that I, I uh, in the U.S., that I write Facebook posts for. And then I'm like, okay, I'll go for my run. So that was about four four o'clock or five o'clock uh and then yeah a bit into my run uh, my friend Kathleen called so I was like all right I'll take the call and I wound up talking to her for 45 minutes while I was running which was kind of nice made the time fly by and uh it was a nice run I went like a totally different direction this time just like straight that way and through Chinatown and through all these nice areas with houses and uh, yeah so it was very cool to just sort of yeah, it's, it's, I never want to get so old and out of shape that I can't just move. And now it makes me think, wow, I wish, I wish I'd been, well, I mean, I've always sort of been running my life, but just the freedom to just be able to, I'm just going to run around the city. Like that would be great to be 18. But I mean, I just did it now. Lenny Kravitz is 58. He's doing it. So what am I talking about? And then when I got back to the house, I could see, oh, I, oh, my, my melatonin's falling over. That reminds me, I should take some. Uh, I, I saw through the window that my parents were eating dinner, so I joined them, and that was okay. And then after dinner, I was like, hmm, I'm still a bit hungry. I'm going to have some, pour some Honey Nut Cheerios. And then my mom's like, well, what are you doing? I'm like, uh, she's like, you just ate. you got to wait 20 minutes. Like, let your stomach, you know, tell you that you're, you're full or whatever. I'm like, yes, you're right. Um, but then just now I went up back upstairs and, and eat the Cheerios that I'd already poured into the milk. It was kind of nice because they were already sort of softened by the milk. Um, and then I had some cheese. What else did I have? A few almonds. Oh, and a little yogurt. Oh, God. But, you know, well, my mom said, you know, it might just be that you're thirsty. So that might be it. And I think also if you can get your sleep on track, then you're not really tired. Because you overeat when you're tired. You feel like you need energy. You need sugar. And then after dinner, I've just sort of been sitting here going through emails. I've still got about you know, 320 emails in my main inbox that's not filtered and into different folders. And uh, there's so much to address, but it, uh, I really should just delete them all. And say all I'm doing, I need to focus. Say all I am doing this month is to forget all these millions of affiliate things, like, you know, links I'm supposed to share or all these little casting calls I get for commercials in Toronto or whatever that I'm, I'm never going to apply to or whatever. Just say, no, none of it, all gone. I'm only just going to make YouTube videos or something, just like for a week or something, just go whole hard. So maybe I'll get up early in the morning. Uh, oh yeah, here's the thing. Uh, remember I asked if anybody would help me listen, like decide whether I should have my long 10 minute intro or like the shorter version for my podcast. Well, I sent it to Kathleen and she gave me her opinion. She only listened to the short version. And she said, yeah, it's still even a bit long. So tomorrow morning I will get up. Maybe I'll just 
finish editing the little intro, get that podcast up, and then my stand-up class is 2 p.m. to 5 p.m., and I haven't written any jokes for it yet, so i got to spend a couple hours just writing some jokes, just so I feel... There's only, like, three of us in the class total, plus the two teachers, so I can't show up to this three-hour class with nothing, because we got to discuss it, and I'm paying for it, and I want to be doing my comedy, so it's just... It's so easy to just, oh, I'll just rather watch some YouTube videos. Like, I go by these wormholes. I've been watching clips from the Avengers, and earlier this week, clips from... Uh, the Matrix, like, what What am I doing? It's so easy, like, just brain candy, like, to, to, but to work and to create your own stuff, yeah, it takes brain energy, and it's just very easy to not do it, and every day that goes by, you're not doing it again. Like, Philip DeFranco, sometimes he'll post that, oh, yeah, I'm, I'm sick today, or I, or I barely got any sleep, but he still does it. He does it every day. You have to do it. There's no benefit to saying, I'll do it tomorrow. Like, every day, the internet, like, you just need to be posting content every day, whether you're sick, whether you're tired, you just do it. That's what benefits. The next day you'll just be older, you're less likely, you know, you've missed a chance to connect with an audience. So, and I haven't even been uploading these Instagram stories yet. Like, I've started saving them again, and I'm supposed to be putting them on YouTube, but I haven't. So hopefully I'll work on that tomorrow, too. Like, there's nothing else I need to be doing. I don't, I'm not going back to school. I'm not working. Like, I do my, I do everything on my own. Like, there's literally, uh, Charles, my computer store friend just says he just does it he has a list of like whatever his list that day's 10 things or whatever and just boom 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 i gotta buy this i gotta do that and he just does it like me i sit here overthinking it like i had a girlfriend 20 years ago who was like oh what's on your to-do list you're never gonna get it done because i was like oh i can't i can't do things i've got my list i've probably got the same things written on my pad of paper that that were back then anyways all right i'll go to bed bye oh and last night i watched this uh this thing by Yid, what are they called? Yid Life Crisis. It was like a fundraiser video they made uh, for Jewish Ottawa. And it was very funny. It was actually an hour. I watched the whole thing. And then I watched the beginning of it today because I missed the beginning. And then I jokingly said in the kitchen to my mom, like, oh, I better learn Yiddish so I can do skits with them because they do skits in Yiddish. Uh, I was just trying to fill the, fill the air like so there was something to say. But my mom's like, no, no, you got to do your own stuff. Like, don't be trying to do... The Josh Yid life, or you don't be Seinfeld Josh or Larry David. You gotta be Josh Josh. And I'm like, you're right. I gotta be doing my own stuff. Don't try to. She's right. Just whatever. Do my own stuff. All right. So let's do that tomorrow. You're all. Oh, it's ten o four. Let's do this. Hopefully, I fall asleep. Bye.